I'm Dr. Richard Gates, and I'm a cardiothoracic surgeon, and I'm the director and chief of cardiac surgery here at St. Joseph's Hospital. Uh, my areas of specialty include adult congenital heart disease surgery, valvular heart surgery, and ascending aortic surgery. Some of the signs and symptoms that somebody with valvular heart disease might have would be congestive heart failure symptoms. These symptoms are shortness of breath, easy fatigability, difficulty in sleeping flat in a bed, needing to stay propped up, swelling of the ankles. Such symptoms are often caused by problems with the valves of the heart, leading to decreased heart function. If you do have shortness of breath with exertion or easy fatigability, or have been told that you have a heart murmur, then it's a good idea to consult with a cardiologist about the possibility of valvular heart disease. There are two major heart valves uh, that often require surgery. There are four total heart valves, but the two valves that encompass about 90% of problems in the heart are the aortic valve, which is the outflow valve from the pumping chamber of the heart to the body, and then the mitral valve, which is the inflow valve from the collecting chamber of the heart into the primary pumping chamber. These two valves frequently uh, have disease processes in the adult period which uh, can need surgery or sometimes just intensive medical therapy. The aortic valve itself has a tendency to become blocked or leak. In either case, the valve can be replaced with either a metal valve, which can last a lifetime, or a tissue valve for an older patient, which will last approximately 20 years. The mitral valve tends to have more problems with leaking and can very frequently be repaired and doesn't require replacement. St. Joseph's Hospital is a leading center for mitral valve repair and uses state-of-the-art techniques to ensure that our patients can live with their own valve for as long as possible. Some of the treatments for valvular heart disease depend on the severity involved. For minor leakage or blockage of the valves, most patients can be treated effectively with medications as prescribed by their cardiologist with frequent office visits and echocardiograms to keep an eye on the heart. For more severe situations, uh, heart surgery is required. Uh, in this case, valves can be either repaired or replaced. St. Joseph's Hospital uh, it does a very high volume of valvular heart surgery because of the uh, interest of myself and my associate, Dr. Pelifox, have in valvular heart surgery. Recently, St. Joseph's received a three-star STS rating for its heart surgery outcomes, placing the hospital in the top 12% of all heart surgery outcomes in the United States. We uh, specifically excel in mitral valve repair work and ascending aortic repair work. These are complex operations, uh, but can be done today safely with uh, morbidity and mortality rates in the 1 to 2% range.